Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, a place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune. The Steve and Adam Show. Steve. Hi, Adam. Ben. Hey. Jake. The gang's all here. How's it going, guys? Mm-hmm. It's going good. Not bad. So this is our Intune Out of Band uh, episode. Yeah. This should be season three, but as you know, there is a uh, vulnerability on the horizon. The uh, print <laughs> nightmare, as it's been uh, called. is Intune training nightmare? is is out there and um the goal of this video is not to show you how to specifically remediate and deal with print nightmare but is to highlight the um windows 10 quality updates preview feature that exists in intune and um how you could possibly use that right now to expedite the deployment of the uh already released uh, cumulative update that uh, uh, addresses that so it's a great yeah, timing out of band updates yeah mm-hmm. so it's an out of band update that just got released the handle print nightmare and this windows 10 quality updates preview feature is now available and um it's so it's good timing um if you want to know how to deal with print nightmare specifically there are already tons of blogs um lots of official information from microsoft um things about you know how to how to handle servers, how to handle um, end user machines, group policies, PowerShell scripts, lots of stuff out there. We're not going to cover any of that stuff. Um, we just specifically want to talk about the quality updates preview. And then also one last bit. This is a first look. We've not done this before, um, and the docs are very comprehensive. So we highly suggest that watch the video, but then go and read through the docs so that you're fully aware as to you know what all is covered in this. So um, like I said, it's brand new. So we're all kind of taking a first stab at it, but we figured we, our audience may have not heard of this and we want to make sure that we're at least highlighting this um, for those folks who haven't seen this yet. So with that, um, I'm going to uh, let, I guess, Steve, Steve, you want to share your screen and, right. and uh, walk us through, let's, let's see if we can figure out how to set it up. Share a window. This one here. Cool. Um, so obviously here's the Mi Mac portal, uh, and we're going to go obviously, and zoom in a little bit. Obviously, obviously, obviously. <sighs> Better? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's that's perfect. I, I could almost read it. All right. <laughs> Let me get my glasses. So what we're going to do is go to the devices tab here and scroll down. Under here, there is two options being feature updates. So this is where we've previously discussed the ability to. Uh, set to a, a certain version and say, this is what we want to install. Apparently um, quite long ago. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been updated, um, which is pretty cool now. So it will tell you whether it's a supported OS yeah, and when nice. the end date actually is. So it's there, there's always improvements going on there and that's probably one of the big ones we'll call out on there. But then we also have this new one here called quality updates. From here, we can go and create our profile and uh, we're going to give it a name of print out band. Emoji. Um, sorry. You do like a devil emoji or something because it's yeah. a nightmare. Yeah, print, yeah, yeah. Print emoji out of oh, band. Oh. Windows period. Oh, I can't search. Windows period. It's, it's not period. It's a semicolon, isn't it? Um, oh. I've got it up. You just can't see it. Okay. Oh, well, the exciting things you learn. Yeah, there yep. you go. All Windows right. Windows semicolon. Port so things. print nightmare. There we go. Um, and here's some rules about what's going on. Um, while it's exp- uh, expediting it, you could have an uh, impact on end users because you're going to say, I want to reboot rapidly. Yeah, um, sure. Um, and then the last one here is where you select the update that you want. And you'll see that it's actually an OOB security update in this scenario. We say we want to install that in zero days. Now, Steve, pause there for a moment. Okay, yes. so so specifically, you notice that it doesn't call out the uh, the update by na- it, 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 it's just this very obscure thing. So in the docs, it talks about the lettering here. So if, you, if you're familiar, the um, monthly updates have A, B, C, and D, and they're all based on whether they're a pre-release or a, a regular Patch Tuesday release. So the B yeah. updates are your normal patch Tuesday releases. But the OOB specifically is indicating that it's an out of band update. So they're not all updates show up here and are eligible to be deployed here. And so um, 
there's some uh, some reference in the docs that talk about how to decipher what you're going to be picking from the list here. Right. And we'll put the link to the docs below the video. Yeah. Um, to make it easy for you. Also, so, I'm pretty sure you can just click on the button by the quality updates, and it'll take you there. Somewhere, one of them has it. I'm sure. Anyway, carry on, sir. Carry on. I don't see it. So we go next, next. Obviously, we're going to select our assignment group. We're going to go and grab uh, our awesome group that will be in here that I'm sure will have emojis in its title. No, it doesn't. Let's just go to <laughs> app deploy example. Yep. And that's been deployed out to those computers. Awesome. That's that's the simple that's process. You don't that's need it. to download the update. You don't need to do anything. It's just going to use the Windows Update for Business engine uh, and force it to go out and update to that version. So if you've previously said, or oh, I want to stay on this version, or you're a month or two months out, this will force you up to the latest version. Yeah. Um, now, there, um, we highly recommend that you um, go ahead and test. set set this up and test this uh, in your environment prior to needing it. Um, yes. There is some um, some back end stuff that has to get stitched together when you first set this up. So it could take a, a little while for your tenant to pick up the configuration um, to be able to deploy these updates to your clients. And so um, uh, so go in, you know, go create a feature update uh, policy in advance just to make sure that this is all set up uh, before you need it. Yeah. And he did say feature update. Yes. Yeah, either feature update or quality update, but feature update's easy because you can target it kind of off in a space. But either way, um, make sure you your, um, uh, get this set up in advance so that uh, it's ready for your tenant when, when the crisis occurs. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, this is a very, very easy way to remediate uh, the print nightmare stuff. Um, I, I know we've, we've spoken a little bit about uh, the million different ways that people have been trying to remediate it. This is, to me, one of the many, many reasons why uh, sort of endpoint management and Intune in general is is sort of the best way to manage this sort of stuff. You can see how easy it is. Um, and also, there's another thing to go check on here, Steve. So if you go to reports. Sorry, uh, uh, go here to reports. Which probably is go this pop one out here. reports. Yep. And then there is should be Windows updates preview. Yeah, it's in the top four. Windows yeah, updates. There, there we go. And then there's going to be a Windows expedited quality updates table. Down there. Go. Um, and so once we get info on that, we should um, that should they, that report should have some information. Cool. And then you can go and drill further into that. Yeah, um, that's awesome. And, and aggregate it. Well, so that's one that's one place. Deployment. And then there's actually another report as well. Um, and so if you go under devices under monitor. Devices monitor. Which, by the way, I always have a hard time remembering where this section is because there's a lot yeah. of great reporting here, yep. and it's like, where, where is it? So, um, the, Windows right there at the bottom, update. Uh, right, below that, that. right below yep. that, when is it expedited update failures? Yeah. Um, so, the, yeah, this is the way that you can just literally watch to see whether any of the devices fail those updates. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah. would it would be awesome if there was uh, it, like so this information it's, I agree with you Adam I always forget that this stuff exists um, there should be a link uh, in the report section uh, that takes you directly to device monitoring um, if anyone's listening that has the power to do that let's get that link up because it's a small thing right it's just gonna be a link that takes you to here I think I think it'll get a lot more uh, user interaction with with these reports yeah I think we've even mentioned that to some other folks before. Um, yeah. But regardless, uh, there is information, more information about the statuses that you're going to see in these reports out on the docs. So near the bottom, there's a section called update states, and it will tell you what it means about the, the update and plus has just a bunch more information about how the expedited updates work. Um, like I said in the beginning, our whole goal here was just to show you how quick and easy this is to set up. And um, it, you know, we feel like it's timely because of the print nightmare stuff. So. Um, go check it out. See if you can push this stuff out quickly into your environment if you haven't already um, tackled it. So get it done. Yeah. Well, I think that's it, guys. Anything else? Not about I got nothing. It. That was great. All right. Fantastic. Well, good stuff. Thanks, team. All right. See you next time. See you, See next you time. later. Steve, you can't go flashing.